Polly is a streamer and a network bridge for the Court Mojo Portable DAC and Headphone Amp. It appears to be aptly named. Poly comes from the Greek polis and means much, many, more than usual or even excessive. Like in Polytechnic, Polychrome and Polymorph. And now Polymojo. A name most appropriate for this little gem offers many ways of working. It effectively makes the mojo function in any thinkable situation. At home, in the car, taking a stroll, commuting and on an intercontinental flight. Poly is directly connected to the Mojo DAC and thus has the same width of 62 mm and the same height of 22 mm. It just makes the Mojo 50 mm longer. Being a cord, the casing is of precision machined black anodized aluminium. It holds its own lithium polymer battery that provides 7 to 9 hours playing time just as long as the Mojo will last on a charge. On one side there are two micro USB connectors and two plastic dummy connectors that fit the sockets on the Mojo. This offers a sturdy connection but for portable use I would seriously consider the Mojo Poly case cord offers as an option. On the opposite side there is a small plastic window with behind it the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas. Next to it two small status LEDs one for the Poly and one for the Mojo. Then the micro USB connector for charging and a micro SD slot for storage of music files. There are no buttons or knobs. Poly is powered on by the power button on the Mojo and operated from a smartphone, tablet or computer. The Poly Mojo combo has the same capabilities as the Solo Mojo. PCM up to 768 kHz and DSD 256. The outputs are those of the Mojo, so two 3.5 mm jacks. They can drive two sets of headphones or your stereo, but don't have your headset and your stereo connected at the same time for the level will be very high when switching from headphones to your stereo. Setting up the Poly is a bit of a thing. Not that it's difficult, but since the Poly knows so many modes and in standing core tradition has a rudimentary manual, it takes some time to find your way. I'm not going to show this since there is a very good video by Jeremy Lorison that does just that. The link will be in the notes and at the end of this video. I rather explain the different ways of working for understanding that makes it a lot easier to operate the Poly Mojo combo. In the living room, Mojo is connected to the stereo using a 3.5 mm jack to double RCA cable. Since Poly has no Ethernet connection, Wi-Fi is used. Poly only uses the 2.4 MHz band. How you play your music is up to you. You only have to start the free app GoFigure to set the right mode. If you use Rune, simply select Rune and the Poly can be activated in Rune. Or if you want to use DNLA or MPD, select everything else. DNLA stands for Digital Living Network Association and is a general streaming standard initiated by Sony and supported by most other large consumer electronics companies and many hi-fi brands. A hardly distinguishable variant is UPnP AV. So any DNLA or UPnP AV app can control the Poly as a renderer. I use Glider on iOS, which is not free but quick and easy in use, especially for more complex server situations. You do need DLA server software running on a computer or NAS. These are often standard on NASes and for computers lots of free and paid software is available. I use Minim server since that is aimed at music only. But for instance JRiver can function as a DLA server like many DLA servers that do video and photos too. The alternative is MPD which stands for Music Player Daemon. This is the standard Linux music player. It will only see the music on the internal micro SD card but since these are now available up to 400 gigabytes and easily interchangeable that will be no problem. 
I used MPD-JS on the iPhone to control MPD and it worked fine. While travelling you will not be able to use Rune or the DNLA server in your network. So you can only play music from your smartphone or from micro SD cards and although the name micro SD might suggest limited storage, you can easily carry 10 of them in your wallet, potentially taking 4 terabytes capacity with you. Either the DNLA or MPD app on your smartphone can be used to control playback. The connection between your smartphone and the poly might be done over a local Wi-Fi network if available, but usually this is not the case. Then you can switch on tethering on your smartphone and have the poly log in to your phone. By the way, the poly can store 32 Wi-Fi access points with passwords. If your cell phone provider doesn't allow tethering, you can switch on poly's hotspot mode and thus make it a Wi-Fi access point you connect your phone to. If you have an iPhone, you can now play music to Poly over AirPlay. Mac users can play over Poly this way too of course, for instance in a hotel room. Android users can use Bluetooth to play music from their phone. The use of Wi-Fi might be forbidden in planes, especially during takes off and landings. Then you switch on AirPlay mode, now Wi-Fi is switched off and you can play over Bluetooth only. Again, not only for playback from your smartphone but also from your la tablet or laptop. To be sure no one is listening in, the four digit login code can be altered in the GoFigure app. Regular viewers know the influence of a streamer on the sound. Since in this case the streamer is uniquely designed for use with the Mojo and given the track record of Chord, you expect the best for the money and this is indeed the case. Performance is at the level of the Allo Digi1 signature which is fine. Combined with the Mojo you do have a very good sounding playback system that will drive most headphones and any line input on your stereo. Not that I judged it on headphones, for as you probably know I'm no headphone expert. Used as a stationary streamer, it keeps the same place in my setup too as the Solo Mojo had, and that's how it should be. Prices over here are 1 euro short of 600 euros for the Poly and 500 euros for the Mojo, both including 21% VAT. See my review of the Mojo, link in the comments. And you will understand that the Poly Mojo combination does provide a sound quality that suits my setup too very well. There is a small premium to the price for the versatility, but then you can enjoy the Mojo sound quality wherever you go and at home as well. Both the Poly and the Mojo are built like a tank, but for use on the road I would definitely buy the Mojo Poly case to prevent stress on the connectors. And yes, at first you do need to get at grips with the different modes and the setup. But I hope this video and the setup video by Jeremy Lawrenson will help you there. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media. If you like this video, please consider supporting the channel through Patreon or PayPal. Any financial support is much appreciated and needed to keep me independent. The links are in the comments below this video and YouTube. Help me to help even more people enjoy music at home by telling your friends on the web about this channel. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music. Mm -hmm.